All right guys, well, today I need to wash my car up. It's been a little while and we got some new Veros products in over here. I guess they were, you're still getting the labels done for these three, but uh, I got some, some new tire dressing. I got a new ceramic waterless wash. I think you can dilute this one to one if you want, okay? Uh, we got the SiO2 infused soap here. We've got a new polymer detail spray and I've got their new interior cleaner. So very cool, excited to use some of these products today. Let's get going with the video. Let's do it. And we're also gonna be using the Giraffe Tools pressure washer that I got. Uh, this is 2200 PSI at 2.1 gallons per minute is their Grand Falls edition. So very, very cool. Hooks on the wall real easy. Let's get going. All right, and let's check out some of the beading now, see if the protection is there since the last time we applied an SiO2 soap. We were having a little issue with this and uh, let's see how long that's going. <laughs> So it looks great so far. All right guys, we got the uh, Vero ceramic soap in the foam can and I'm just gonna do a pre-foam here. The ceramic soap doesn't mean it has ceramic in it. This ceramic soap is a little bit higher pH for better cleaning. So we're just going to pre-foam pre with this, let it sit, and then we're going we're to rinse it. Then we'll use their SiO2 infused soap for the actual uh, layering of ceramic on the vehicle. Let's do it. <music> So their ceramic soap, which is basically their cleaning soap, kind of has a yellowish hue to it. And what they want to do is be able to wash that and it would turn white. So you know the areas that you washed already. Um, it's yellow. It's got a little bit of yellow tint up here. It's not so much yellow, but uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's got some 
some yellow to it. Anyway, that's just one thing about their soap. Okay, let's go ahead and rinse this off. I'll let you see how nicely it rinses off. Hey guys, and this is after the initial foam without any hand touching. So as you can see it, didn't uh, degrade the last product we use. Beading is still good. And now we're gonna use the SIO2 soap to wash the car. And after a, a uh, SIO2 infused wash with the Viros, let's check out the beading now. <laughs> Very nice. Definitely some protection on there. And we are good to go. All right, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the 
Veros polymer detail spray. I'm gonna spray it on the car and then I'm gonna dry the car. This will be my dry aid. Try it out. Right, guys i'm going to try out some of their ceramic waterless wash on the wheels there now remember i just foamed them and rinsed them i didn't really wash them so still need to spray something on there uh, this is sio2 infused so should add some protection on here All right, let's try out some of the dressing. Now it does have a screw on top. I wish it had kind of a squirting or a uh, self-cleaning type of top, but smells good. Very, very thick. All right, guys, so did you like the video? If you did, hit that like and subscribe button. Today, we're just doing a, a car wash, maintenance car wash. We're using the Veros line. I got some new products from them. And I'll tell you what, their products are awesome. They all smell fantastic. They work like they're supposed to. And 10% of the proceeds go to a children's cancer fund. So that's pretty cool with them. Uh, we started with their ceramic soap. It is not ceramic infused. It is a cleaner for your ceramic coated car, but it will work for your regular car. It is a higher pH, so it cleans well. It has nice foaming abilities. It looks a little, has a yellow hue to it. And if you use uh, a hand mitt and wash by hand, it should change to white so you can see the areas you've washed. That way you don't miss any areas. I just did a pre-foam with this, let it sit and rinsed it and uh, I wanted to get all the loose dirt and debris off there. Then I grabbed their SiO2 infused soap, which does have SiO2 in it. And I just put maybe like an ounce, a little bit into the, the wash bucket and I washed the car. I just wanted to try it out. And um, 
This stuff is my favorite smelling soap. It is amazing, very, very good. I think it's like a raspberry, just smells awesome and not too foamy. Of course, I didn't use a lot of it. I could try next time and put more soap, but I didn't really wanna use a lot of this. I just wanted to see how the product work. It has pretty nice lubrication and smells great. Cleans well, is a nice topper for my ceramic coated car over there. When I dried the car, I grabbed their Veros Polymer Detail Spray. Now this stuff smells good like strawberries or something like that. And I sprayed this all around the car. It's got polymer in it. It's got a little bit of uh, beefiness. It looks pink when it gets on the car and you should get some protection out of this as well. And I use it as a drying aid. The car is super shiny, uh, very clean and bright right now. So really, really nice, easy product to use. On the wheels, I use their uh, SiO2 waterless wash product right here. This stuff kind of smells like a honeydew melon, I suppose that's what they were going after. And uh, it's, a, it's a really good product. You can dilute this one to one. I sprayed it on the wheels and just cleaned them. I didn't dilute it at all. And then on the tires, I use their dressing. Now this dressing has different purposes. Um, you can use it on your tires, on your trim your rubber, or you can use it on the interior and you dilute this. I didn't dilute it today. I wanted that, you know, right off the bat, bang, nice, deep, rich look, but you could dilute this like 50 to 50, 50 parts this, 50% this, 50% water. Um, you could do 25% product to 75% water for your trim and, uh, or your wheel wells, and you could do 10% product to 90% water for your interior. So a very versatile product there. And it smells good. I think this one smells, reminds me of like when I make a banana shake or something like that. So I think that it's kind of a, a banana smell in my opinion. Now I know these ones don't have labels, but they did put a little, you know, uh, machine label on there. So, you know, they're probably getting labels made. I don't know. I wasn't told about that. But nonetheless, the products just work fantastic, guys. I really, really like them. Sometimes they have a sale and I know that 10% of the money that goes to these uh, it goes to a children's cancer fund. So very good, nice products there, Veros, and definitely we'll be using these more in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Don't forget to check out the Giraffe Tools Pressure Washer. That's the um, Grand Falls one that I have. It's got a 100-foot hose on it, 2,200 PSI with 2.1 gallons per minute. And uh, you can pull that hose out. You can all the way out, really easy. You give it a little tug and it'll go all the way back in for you. So super fast. It's got a wand, it's got four tips, it's got a foam cannon on it. Really, really nice electric pressure washer there, guys. Check them out, Giraffe Tools. Talk to you later.